Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. Guys, today we have something very exciting happening. We rented a boat for the day. We just could not stay off the lake. And so we found a company that rents out boats. We have rented it and we are gonna take it to the lake, spend the entire day as a family and sister from Florida is actually gonna be joining us today. We're gonna to go have some fun. We've been missing the water and it's a beautiful day to go to the lake. So we're gonna go do that. We are super excited. One little tidbit of information is the other night, Austin had an accident and accidentally sliced open his thumb while trying to cut something. So he has got 10 stitches in his hand. I don't know that he'll be getting in the water or doing very much today. So if you don't see him in the water, surfing it up like normal, that's why he's got stitches in his hand. We're gonna hopefully be able to cover it up and be able to, might be able to get in the water a little bit. The doctor said he can get it wet, just don't soak it. So we're gonna cover it up with the glove, tape it, and see if he can get in the water. If he doesn't get in the water, it's gonna be because it's gonna be far too painful for him. So we're just gonna kind of see how the day goes and hopefully cross our fingers that he'll be able to get in the water and enjoy some of the, the stuff that we love to do. We are just getting up here to the lake and of course the wind is blowing. The wind is always blowing up here at Deer Creek. It feels like hopefully it will calm down as we go through the day and we can get some good surfing in. The bright side is there's hardly any people here. We were expecting it to be incredibly full being that it's a Friday afternoon, but there's a little bit of cloud cover and it's windy. So I think that's keeping people away. This is the boat that we rented. excited to get to try one out. We've wanted to try one forever and we're going to get to do that today. So are y'all excited to be able to get in the water today? Yeah, it's kind of windy. Got all of our surfboards in there. Dallas and get some surfing going on. Owen's over <laughs> eating. Yeah. You gonna surf, Owen? Mm -hmm. Austin, you gonna surf? Yeah. Yeah. We brought a glove to cover up his hand. We're gonna duct tape it on his wrist and pray that it doesn't get wet. All right, we are done with the two for a second. We're gonna do some surfing for a minute. As Terry mentioned, Austin had to get 10 stitches in his hand last night, but he still wants to surf. We know they're only gonna get a few days out in a boat this year, so he's definitely gonna take advantage of it. She is helping him get it all taped up using some heavy duty Gorilla Tape and uh, using a latex glove. So it's gotta be strong, but it's also gotta be waterproof. And we're hoping that there's no accidents here. We know that's a little bit of a risk, but uh, we do not want him to hit it on the board or the back of the boat and also the water is just a touch cold.
just getting back to the truck from the lake. We had a blast. Did you have fun, Carm? Yeah. Yeah? I only got in the water once other than, like, I only got in the water, like, actually getting in the water once. Water was cold. Water is always cold for me. I hate cold water, so I always wear my wetsuit, but it was really cold. We've had an extremely cold spring and start to summer, so the water has not had a chance to really warm up yet. But I got in, surfed for a little bit, Clay surfed, both boys surfed, Carmi yeah. belly boarded. Claire Bear tried to surf and got the tubing in, had a great time with Clay's family. So what are we going to do now, kiddos? Are we going to dinner? At Zuba's. Zuba's for dinner. Did you guys have fun? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Oi? We've safely made it home from the lake. It's starting to get dark out here. We're gonna quickly get all of our wetsuits and life jackets hung out to dry. It's a little weird not having a boat and having to like take it back to somebody else to let him do all the cleanup and the work. It's actually kind of nice, but it's weird to not just hang all of our stuff out on the boat and get it all put back in there the next day. So we're gonna hang it out here on my amazing rental car <laughs> to dry. <laughs> The guy was a little antsy to get his boat back, so we got the boat returned. We just kind of made a pile of all that stuff right here. So, like I said, we typically would hang it out on the edge of the boat. Tonight, we're going to use the mirrors on the rental car, throw it on top, use a nice little rack up that's up there, and uh, just kind of get it spread out. Get it all dried out for the next time. Did being on the boat tonight make you miss our boat? Not like I thought it would. I mean, it was definitely fun, but I, I thought I was going to be like, man, we've got to get another boat like ASAP. And I, I wasn't feeling it like that, were you? I mean, a little bit, but also know that everything is so crazy expensive right now that it would just be a stupid decision on our part to get a new boat. So that, I think, kind of helps us to feel a little bit better it's about our decision about getting rid of our boat. In our other boat, we could go boating for like $60 a day. So not bad. Yeah. Uh, this trip cost us $200 in fuel. Yes. So quite a bit more than a <laughs> rudder boat. I mean, the wave was much bigger and I'm sure, you know, the motor's bigger as well. And so I'm sure that's part of it. Uh, but uh, the wave was definitely bigger and it was much easier to surf than our old boat was. So true. that might be something we look into when and if we ever do buy another boat. Getting a bigger wave, Clay was able to surf behind this boat for quite a while without holding the rope, which he never was able to do behind our Supreme that we just sold. So definitely something that we are going to to check out is a boat that makes a bigger surf wave. Got a little driver in the car. <laughs> <laughs> not driving? What are you doing in there? Getting water. <laughs> water. The kiddos are all in the showers getting ready for bed. Austin has had not the greatest luck this year. It's been about six months since we made an ER visit and it was about time to head to the ER again. So the backstory to his hand is he was cutting open some ice cream last night and was using one of my new Cutco knives. And when I say they are the most sharp knives I've we should, have, we should have kept Ronco. <laughs> they were dull. <laughs> Anyways, he was cutting open some ice cream. The pressure that he was using on the, the carton of ice cream, it slipped off and he cut his thumb. It's like right here across his thumb. When we went into the ER last night, it was 11.30 by the time we got there. We waited in the waiting room for two hours before they called us back to the room where we sat for another three hours. Did not get home until almost 5 a.m. And he cut it incredibly deep. It's actually down to like, just barely like millimeters above the bone. The doctor was very concerned that he may have cut his ligaments or tendons in there. He doesn't think that he did, so he just stitched it up. There's three stitches on the inside, seven on the outside. We're gonna give it a few days, and if he's no, like if he's not able to move it or feel it, then we're gonna have to go to a hand surgeon to see what the next step is for that. Hopefully it does not require surgery so that's the story of Austin stitches <laughs> guys we are hoping to get out in the water a couple more times this year we did get invited to Lake Powell but we can't make that happen Owen will be very deep into football and Austin will be starting college along with his last year of high school so we are not willing to leave those two home alone for a week. <laughs> definitely not <laughs> <laughs> that could be bad news <laughs> Unfortunately, so, we're not going to build it. We're not going to be able to pull it off. So exactly. we'll rent a boat another couple times, maybe once in July, maybe once in August. And uh, hopefully that's enough. <laughs> We've been keeping ourselves busy, so it hasn't been too bad. But uh, I mean, if you had tons of money, right? Like crazy amounts of money. And like your only worry was like going boating, you know, a few times a week. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. And I could definitely get into that. Maybe when we retire, that can be what we do. We just live on a lake and go boating. Hopefully that's the case. <laughs> but uh, it was definitely fun to get out there again. We appreciate you guys watching. We love you. We'll see you guys back here tomorrow.